let us try to make sense of few geometrical figures let's start with a point now point is a very basic figure that we talk about in math and this is how we represent a point and point is always given name of some letter like a or z or b or something like that but what does this point show i like to call it the address of anything you know if you see any grid like this now sorry if my drawing is not perfect but let's say i wanted to tell people where a is and if i knew the names of grids like this where every vertical line was named as 1 2 3 4 5 and the horizontal lines as we go above were named as i j k l and so on so i would say that a's address was j3 or something of the sort 3j depending upon whatever convention that we using point is just an address it is an infinitesimally small area when i say infinitesimally that's like saying very very small area if you want to think about a point look at the point of a needle so if this is a needle there is a small portion here and then the needle is pointing and you can look at the top of that needle and that's something that resembles the point now understanding the concept of point enables us to understand the rest of the figures as well so let's try and learn line segment line segment looks something like this it just got bigger somehow so at the ends of the line segment you will find two points and we can name the line segment as segment ab so it's a straight line between two points and as we can see this has limited distance because it is defined by two points and a real life example of a line segment is anything that you can join with two points you can think about a straight line distance between any, any two points in your room something like this and that's a line segment you can look at a line segment vertically as well so if this is s this could be p or sorry let's say r so it could be vertical or it could be anywhere around you real or imaginary any limited straight line distance that joins two points now let's learn about a simple line now what is a line let me draw two points first again the concept of line is that you can draw only one line through two points but it has infinite distance we are limited with the screen here and that's why we have to draw such arrows whenever we want to show lines and to identify the line we just name those two points through which we have drawn the line there is also a convention of naming lines with small letters like we we could say this is line l and or we could say this is line ab and you can see there are so many points on the line isn't it we can draw any two points again on the line and we could say okay this is also line pq so there is that liberty and this has in unlimited distance or infinite distance or i would say unlimited length rather so this has unlimited length or infinite length it just keeps on extending so when we want to show line ab we draw an arrow above ab something like that now that it's important to show arrows on both sides when we when you have to show the line all right now let's see what is a ray now ray is limited from one side but extends like a line on the other side and we call this vertex say p we can call it anything and then we plot another point on the ray and we say it's ray pq again ray also has unlimited length because it keeps on extending in one direction a simple example that i can think of is about a ray or ray of light that originates from the sun well i think i should have drawn it a yellow yellow ray but anyway this is sun and this is how i could say this is a ray because it has some source say point p and then it keeps on extending in one direction to denote ray we write ray pq or we could say pq and we can draw single headed arrow on top of it now using two lines there are different concepts that we can learn so let's say this is one line and this is another line and if i say this is this is like like a railway track of sorts so then you know that these railway track lines never intersect but these are also straight lines right that's kind of parallel lines there so whenever two lines do not intersect they are known as parallel lines so two lines could either be parallel or intersecting so if they do not intersect they are known as parallel lines 
so let's say if i name this line as ab and if i name this line as pq then in maths we show ab is parallel to pq like this by drawing two vertical lines between them or you could say this is line l and this is line m we could also say l is parallel to m parallel lines do not intersect let's jump on to intersecting lines so this is one line and this is another line and these two lines intersect and they intersect at one and only one point let's call this point as m because that's the letter we haven't used so let's say this is a b and arrows on both sides because this is a line that extends on both sides this is say k and l and we could say k l intersects a b at m and this is how you can describe two intersecting lines now i want to show you another figure so let's say this is one line and this is another line in the screen you see that these two lines do not intersect right these two lines do not intersect on the screen but do you think they will intersect note that these are lines right this is let's say line l and this is line m pause the video think about it and let me know in the comments whether line l and line m intersect or not also once you have your answers ready think about an example of intersecting lines in real life